makes the start at second base, batting ninth. We're ready for baseball. First pitch swinging. Derschlag has the base knock up the middle. And the leadoff man aboard for the Panthers, who come in 7-13. and 13. Obviously, that's Chase Burns. There's strike three in there to Chatham as he goes down looking. Shinovsky trying to escape this first inning unscathed. Ground ball up the middle. King charges, fires, and gets Stewart at first. And that's a nice job by Shinovsky. To this point, yeah. you always have to throw the disclaimer in. The long season. This is game number 20. Line drive well hit out to right center by Tellier. That's going to get over the wall. It's gone. one nothing. Deeks as Tellier goes yard for the seventh time this season. The wind helped it out just a little bit. But he got a good crack on it. And the Deeks have the early advantage here tonight. Well, he did not know for sure, and so he went into a sprint mode the entire time that as soon as he left the box, he was rounding the bases as fast as he could till he saw it disappear over the College World Series slide. Get signed, gets a fastball out and away, drills it into right center field for his ninth home run of the year. I'll be honest, off the bat, I thought this was a good line drive into the gap. Kind of in charge of morale. He was a guy that did a lot of great work. Are you work. kidding me? That looked like a Boom. pop fly to right, and it's out of here by 30 feet. Seaver King goes back to back after Adam Tellier gets the inning started. Some oppo poppo early here for the Demon Deacons. Two to nothing. Well, not as much question about that one. That one had some altitude to it, so you knew that it was going to clear the wall. Payoff pitch misses up and away, and Ryanish takes the free pass. Ninth of the of the year, Kings was his sixth diving play at the shortstop spot, and a 6-4-3 double play gets Rivera out of any further trouble. Left-handed hitting left fielder takes called third strike. That's a strong start for the righty Shinovsky. Oh, I stole his material. <laughs> There's a beautiful breaking ball spun from Shinovsky. Ready to fire the one two. Out to left field. Williams back on the track and he can't bring it down. Loses his footing to second. Goes Kelly and he'll hold there. The wind is whistling to two. Swing and a miss and down goes Derschlag. That's the fourth strikeout for Shinovsky. They've hit 20 homers in their first 20 games of the season. That ball down the third baseline is fair, and it's going to bring home a run. As Tellier collided with the third base umpire, Andrew Glenn. It's a double for Simpson, a two-out, two-strike RBI. And the Deacons' two-run leads cut in half just like that. Base hit. It's a good effort. You can see how far Tellier is off of third base and just can't get to it. Still been there. Shinovsky strikes out Chatham for the second time. And then Friday on... Saturday on Network Extra. Up the middle, and Williams has another base hit for the Deeks. One out single, he's trying to get to second, it's a double. Apologies to Javar for calling it a single prematurely. Takes a long look at second, and fires to Tellier, who pops it up. Very high in the infield. The catcher, Ruiz, tosses the glove away, and nobody catches it. He tossed the helmet away, not the glove, but that doesn't matter. Everybody's safe. Hard shot fair down the third baseline. King has a knock. It'll drive in at least one. Tellier's being waved around, and he will score easily on the Seaver King two-run double. Right to the shortstop, Stewart. Double clutches, and then throws Wene out at first. Oh, beautifully done by Janoski. That's outside, just missed. Catch one or two days a week and just give everybody crap. Double play ball to second. Kelly flips it to Stewart. And on to first is Simpson. Well, there's the first walk of the day issued by Wake Forest pitching. Especially with the schedule that's ahead. Kelly goes down swinging and last year he's missing his spots a little bit more. Runner going and there goes Schnur striking out from Birmingham, Alabama. And his first pitch is popped sky high behind second base into center. 
And it's A. Halt who drops it, and the Deacons have the leadoff man on. And last year, Wake Forest did not have many games where little plays like that cost them. I hated throwing it. When I was struggling on the mound, I hated throwing any place else. To third, fair ball. He steps on the base and throws to first. It's a double play. Two for two, three RBI for Seaver. This one, though, popped up. First baseman Simpson on the edge of the fake grass in right field. Did your team win the game? We did. Yeah, well, that's what matters. Correct. Chatham has not had a great night with a stick. Did you see the high socks on Morningstar? Off the end of the bat, shallow center, and it will fall right near the Wake logo for a base knock. Top of the sixth, Wake leads four to one. Taken off for second, and the throw's gonna be in time. Stewart caught stealing, trying to advance on the pitch in the dirt in terms of catching the baseball. And that's a well hit ball just inside the bag at first into the right field corner, and Klingler digs for second. He's got a leadoff double here in the seventh. Two and nothing to Harmon after the mound visit from Muscara and a wild pitch will allow Klingler to move to third. Cole, were you at a tougher time gripping the baseball? 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a tip into the mitt, strike three. Line into center field into the gap toward left center. It's a two-run game and they're gonna wave around Harmon. Throw comes into second, and the Panthers are within one as Grintz delivers off the bench with a two-run double into the gap. Well, he walked off the bench thinking first pitch fastball, got it, knew what to do with it when you're going good. You go out there and get it, and he ripped it more often than not. 3-2, ball four. Koshy didn't either. They won't disagree with that one. To consistently hit the spots that they do. That ball smoked out to right center field. Extra bases here for Austin Hawk. And it'll be a double for the Deacons' second baseman. Cam Gill rocketed back up to center field. Hawk coming home. The throw is cut off, and the Deacons have their fifth run of the night. It's a balk. balk. Receiver King. Right to the shortstop, Stewart. And the flip to Kelly at second retires the side. 3-1. Ball four. It was a 4-1 lead after King's two-run double in the third. Hard shot past Tellier. It's a base hit. And the tying runs are aboard for high point here in the eighth. 2-2 two, two to Klingler. Softly hit to the shortstop. King will go to first with it. That functions like a sacrifice bunt, Larry. Tying runs in scoring position with one out. And he stays with a heater, and he strikes out Harmon to Echezaretta. And he missed. And they're loaded it's against Will Ray, the Deacons' right-hander, and it's popped up into shallow right field. This has to be caught. And it's the second baseman, Hawk, who takes care of it to retire the side. He said, we want to work so hard on my outfield play to get that bat into the lineup. He said, I've been taking all, doing most of my defensive work. Runner goes from first, pitches outside, throw down to second is not in time. Thursday at the end of the month. Keith trying to keep it just a two-run ball game. Yeah, and he missed down and into Nelson, who draws the walk with two outs. Deacons looking to increase their lead. And the bases will be loaded. Pennsylvania. 0-2. Oh, Lined into the gap, right center field, base hit. It's going to bring in at least two. Deacons double their lead, courtesy of the catcher, Cameron Gill. Swing and a miss, and down goes Williams. 0-2 to Kelly. Did he go? Yes, he did, says the plate umpire, Joseph Holt. Well, Gill got very excited about that strikeout. He's still happy about his base hit. 
and he came bouncing out, made a quick tag, and then went to make the throw to third base. Got his feet tagging up, fell flat on his face, and is really catching it from his teammates in the dugout. And he's laughing. Everybody having a good time at the moment. I hate that I looked out at my scorebook after strike three and I missed the whole thing. To the shortstop, King, and that's two down here in the ninth. Ray delivers. Popped up down the right field line. Long run for Salvino, but he's there, and that's the ball game.